Various shades of colors can be seen throughout our surroundings. When you look up at the sky, on the ground, or even try looking at both sides right now, everything has colors. This aspect of any object that may be described in terms of hue, lightness, and saturation have meanings that stem from psychological effects, biological conditioning, cultural developments, and symbolic power. No doubt why most of us wanted a perfect shade of our favorite color painted all over our homes. But did you know these colors can also be manifested by these gorgeous fish on your screen? Astonishing how fish hold power to captivate our eyes with their patterns of colors. So if you're interested in learning more, stick around until the end of the video. Because today at Aquarium Store Depot, we'll dazzle your eyes with the 21 different types of African cichlids found in the hobby. Wildlife is one of the absolute highlights of Africa, with beasts, bugs, and birds big and small enticing travelers from all over the world. But one thing that often gains the least attention is the colorful freshwater fish from this rich continent, specifically the cichlids. They come in various sizes, from the tiny two-inch shell dwellers to the three-foot-long emperor cichlid. Most species are found in Lake Victoria, Tanganyika, and Malawi's harsh alkaline waters. I bet you're familiar with these places because of the three previous videos we made about these cichlids. Although they may look odd, the African cichlid has incredible colors to showcase. This continent's aquatic beauty was categorized into popular groups. Let's get to know them briefly, shall we? First, the Mbunas. These are robust, vibrant, and energetic small to medium-sized fish. These fish may be quite hostile towards other fish and are very territorial. Therefore, a species-only system with one male and several females is the typical recommendation. Second is the peacocks. No, uh, this isn't a mutation of bird and fish. They're predominantly omnivorous African cichlids from the Alonukara genus. Although females of this species tend to be dull and primarily brown or gray, males are thought to be the most colorful freshwater fish in the world. Hopping onto our third popular group is the haps. Although they are generally calm fish, many are piscivorous, which means they'll consume any tank mates that are tiny enough to fit in their mouths. A big tank with lots of swimming room is necessary for haps to thrive. Next is the trophaeus. Although they make intriguing aquarium pets, these African cichlids are very territorial. Trophaeus are mainly vegetarian and need to consume spiruluna flakes every day in addition to mysis and brine shrimp on occasion. The fifth popular group is the shell dwellers. African cichlids from Lake Tanganyika that live and reproduce within the empty shells of aquatic snails are known as the shell dwellers. These tiny fish, which range in size from 1.5 to 2.5 inches, may be housed in nano aquariums and little colonies. And lastly is the western species. A few possibilities come from West and Central Africa, but most of the well-known African cichlids are from the enormous African lakes in the east. African butterfly, jewels, and the well-known Crebensis cichlid are common West African cichlids. If you believe that this knowledge is sufficient, you are utterly mistaken. There's more to see than simply that. After all, the African cichlid family is home to every hue in the rainbow. And now, to finally bring the main topic to the table, let's start with the list of 21 types of African cichlids with the famous and recognizable African cichlid called Yellow Lab. These little Lake Malawian Mbunas have a beautiful yellow color with a black eye and dorsal fin line. Yellow Lab cichlids may be housed in a vibrant mixed Mbuna community with other Lake Malawi cichlids, or you can give them their own tank and start a breeding program. Second is the Malawi Trout. The slim, aggressive Malawi Trout is a very impressive fish in the giant African cichlid aquarium. These fish are notable for their large, flowing dorsal and anal fins and powerful triangular tails. It requires a ton of room because it's an aggressive swimmer. These fish don't attack species of a comparable size all that often, but anything tiny enough to fit in their enormous mouths will most definitely be consumed. Are you having trouble coming up with words for a tongue twister contest? Try to remember this fish's scientific name. Fossero... Fossero... 
Okay, I think I got it. Phosphorocomus rostratus. This calm cichlid has the unusual habit of diving under the sand to find food or flee from predators. A small group of one male and a few females is good, and they shouldn't be maintained alongside aggressive or territorial species. While mature males grow black bellies, immature males of this fish exhibit noticeable dark spots down their flanks. If life gives you lemons, adopt a lemon jake peacock in your tank. The lemon jake peacock is a magnificent blue and yellow variation of the well-known Olonocara Jacob Freebergi cichlid from Lake Malawi. This shape naturally develops in the Tanzanian coast's Undu Reef area. These fish battle amongst themselves, and the males are frequently hostile towards other fish species with similar coloration. To prevent aggression, keep a group of just one male and a few females together, or attempt an all-male peacock tank with different species. Fifth on the list is the Johani cichlid. The Johani cichlid thrives in crowded Mbuna cichlid aquariums. Despite being a gorgeous and aggressive fish species, it looks like this fish could outshine Scarlett Johansson's beauty and fierce, huh? Although a giant aquarium is ideal for a fantastic mixed Mbuna community tank, these fish may be housed in a relatively small aquarium. Males are clearly distinguished from females by their brilliant blue coloration. To avoid fighting, it's advisable to maintain one male with a small group of females, as with most other Mbunas. Next is the large and in charge aquarium fish with striking black bars on blue and white bodies, called Frontosa cichlids. Frontosa cichlids live in rocky places of Lake Tanganyika's deep waters, up to 200 feet below the surface. Although they need a big tank to simulate their native habitat, they're generally calm. These fish are also called humphead cichlids because the males grow a sizable nuchal bulge on their foreheads. This next fish will take you months before you master its pronunciation. Say it with me, fish keepers. <clears throat> One, two, three. Buccachromis rhodesi. The huge predatory cichlid Buccachromis rhodesi hunts by pursuing smaller fish. The yellow lepturus cichlid is another name for these vibrant species. Although they may be housed alongside many other giant haps, this energetic species needs a big tank to flourish. One of the most beautiful African cichlids on this list is the Ungara cichlid. Beginners might consider Ungara flametails since they are quiet and hardy and may be maintained with live plants. Remember that males may fight fish of a similar hue when choosing tank mates. If you're familiar with Grant's peacock cichlid, you may see an Ungara cichlid as a miniature version. Your heart can't dodge the arrow of Malawi hawk once it strikes you. A vast and vibrant species of hap, the Malawi hawk hunts and consumes lesser cichlids in the wild. Its beak-like mouth, which enables it to eat fish of up to 4 inches long, gave rise to its name. Although the Malawi hawk may harm smaller fish, they're surprisingly calm when kept with other large fish. They may be housed with other large Lake Malawi species, such as the Phosphorocomus rostratus and Malawi trout. Tenth on our list is the widespread cichlid in Lake Malawi called Maulana bicolor peacock. On the northwest coast, this species is native to the Chitimba Bay region. Electric blue male Maulana bicolor peacocks have a distinctive yellow-orange stripe below the head. Smaller females are challenged to identify with other female peacocks because of their drab brown coloring. Going 11th is the OB peacock. Wait, what? O OB? Peacock? What do you mean? Please don't mistake it for a natural peacock. This fish's name is Orange Blotch Peacock, a gorgeous hybrid fish developed by crossing different species. These fish come in a variety of diverse color patterns, such as blue, pink, and yellow tones. They don't exist in nature, and each specimen is unique in terms of its colors and patterns. All right, now that we've completed half of our list, it's time to stretch before moving on. And by that, I mean finally reaching for the thumbs up icon and channel subscription to stay informed about our newest hobby-related topic. Are you already done with some stretching? Because if you are, let's keep this list rolling with our 12th cichlid, the Eureka Red Peacock. Upon learning that Eureka Red Cichlid is another outstanding variation of the well-known Alonokanara Jacob Freebergi Peacock from Lake Malawi, you'll undoubtedly cry with joy over the satisfaction of discovering them. 
The primary color of the males is orange, with various quantities of dark blue, making them a beautiful centerpiece fish. I had intended to sing you a portion of the song Yellow in tribute to this cichlid, but I want to gatekeep my soprano, so let's go on to the sulfur head peacock instead. The golden blaze on the sulfur head peacock cichlid, which extends from its snout to the beginning of its dorsal fin, make it a remarkable species. Additionally, they frequently have a yellow bottom margin to their anal fin, and this brilliant yellow streak running along the top of their dorsal fin. They are unsuitable for cichlid communities with more raucous species since these lovely African cichlids are quiet. Species only cichlid tanks are where they truly excel. Luanda peacock is 14th on our list. The Luanda peacock cichlid has a deep body and distinctive fins. The bodies and fins of males are a striking combination of blue and orange. One male and a few females should be kept in a small group with these aggressive fish. Although they are simple to breed, they might cross with other Alonocanara species. This next fish was born next to the era of the legendary dragons. Meet the Dragon Blood Peacock. I was trolling you in the fish intro, but the looks of the Dragon Blood Peacock are genuinely magical and legendary. These fish, sometimes known as fire cichlids, are typically found in bright pink to red hues. The head and fins frequently have lighter shades, ranging from pale blue to white. Despite being quite aggressive, they may be kept in an organized community of African cichlids. The dragon blood will comb over the sand for food, just like other peacocks do. 16th is the cobalt blue zebra. Please don't try typing, is there a zebra with cobalt blue color in the search tab. I also tried it, but no pictures of an actual zebra appear. Why? Because cobalt blue zebras are cichlids with a stunning blue hue, with flanks frequently containing a row of vertical black bars. They are highly territorial, but fortunately, aggressive behavior may be curbed by selecting the appropriate tank mates and limiting the number of males in the tank. They will thrive in an Ambuna tank with lots of fish, and having them in a group with one male and many females is preferable. Another outstanding Mbuna from Lake Malawi is the Red Zebra Cichlid. Due to the magnificent orange color of both the males and females, these fish are among the most well-liked African cichlids. Like other Mbunas, these fish are territorial and hostile by nature, but at least they don't run like a horse in your aquarium. Salosi Cichlid is the 18th on our list. The Saulosi cichlid, which typically grows to 3.5 inches, is known as a dwarf embuna. Males and females of this fish have radically distinct hues, which adds variation. Despite being less aggressive than other species in this genus, they are genuine embunas. Keep these fish in an aquarium with a rough bottom to simulate their native environment. By looking at this 19th fish's facial features, you'll know that this is a predatory fish. Meet the Calvus cichlid. The Calvus cichlid is a distinctive predatory fish with fantastic spots and stripes that make them stand out in any tank. Calvus has large jaws for gulping down live food like insects and other tiny fish. They shouldn't be kept with other boisterous fish like Imbunas or Tropius since they are not hostile against fish of a similar size. Next on the list is the Damasoni cichlid. Small but highly aggressive Damasoni cichlids are from Lake Malawi and are unafraid to compete with larger species. They can live with other Mbunas, but keeping them away from tank mates with similar appearances is preferable. This is one of few African cichlids where the males and females have gorgeous colors. However, males are more aggressively territorial, have an egg spot on the anal fin, and grow bigger than females. And finally, the last one a polka dot fish called the Duboisi cichlid. This cichlid is also called white spotted cichlid. Duboisi becomes blue black as they age and sprout a single white stripe on either side of their bodies. When it comes to other fish, they're generally docile, yet quite aggressive towards members of their species. They can be housed as a single specimen or in a big school of 15 plus. Are you still with me? Because if you are, I've got to congratulate you because you finally know the best 21 types of African cichlids out there. For fish enthusiasts, African cichlids are truly eye candy. 
An aquarium with African cichlids is among the most appealing in the freshwater fish hobby because of its vivid colors, intriguing behaviors, and high activity levels. Africa never ceases providing us with a whole wide range of gorgeous creatures that we might be pleased to own. If you agree with me, hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find these three related videos about cichlids on your screen. You could also visit our official website at www.aquariumstoredepot.com where detailed information about African cichlids and their other requirements are posted. I hope this video has shined a colorful spectrum of light on you. Keep in touch with us because our next video might be the one you're waiting for. Thanks for watching, fish keepers.